inserting an OBJ quad file into Fusion 360 is pretty straightforward. It's just a matter of going up here to the insert menu. Underneath that, you have the insert mesh command. In this case, it's just going to ask you to browse out and find the file that you want to bring in. So I'm going to browse out and I'll find the one I want to bring in. And I will, I will kind of state that you'll notice that it, this, the types of files that are supported here are OBJ and STL. Now, the file that I've exported out of Recap Photo was an OBJ, OBJ quad. Notice there's no distinction in the OBJ file import. Uh, it just will read the contents of that and import either as a quad or as a triangular OBJ, depending upon what the file makeup is. I'll go ahead and say open here. You can see it brings it in. It's uh, notice that it's an inch file. It's asking if I want to flip the up direction, if I want to center anything, and if I want to move to the ground, I can do that. So I can set all these if I want to do some sort of numerical inputs to kind of center this upright or kind of move it around or whatever. I could do that. In my case here, I might want to rotate it about 45 degrees around the maybe the Z. Let's see here. No, not quite that Z. Let's try the Y. Kind of keep playing with the angle here, or I can even just grab this grip and say, uh, oh, this should be should be about right there. Maybe we'll key in like 65 or something like that. This is probably a little bit too much. Just whatever I need or whatever I feel to kind of get it centered right. And I do want to kind of have the quadrants or the origin planes kind of running between the arms or bisecting the arms. So we'll say okay. And there is our OBJ quad brought in. If I kind of zoom in here, you'll see finally the, the distinction between an OBJ and an OBJ quad and the fact that this is more of a rectangular mesh as opposed to a triangular mesh that you typically see in an OBJ or a, an STL. You will notice over here in the browser that you do have a mesh body. You can right click on this and you can go into edit. One thing that I find interesting is there are obviously tools here, but if you try to, let's say, I want to do a smooth. Notice it wants me to pick faces or a body. It really doesn't want to let me pick any of these because these tools are more designed to kind of work with a triangular mesh. So by doing the quad mesh, really kind of don't have many options here, but that's not a big deal because we're going to be able to use the T-spline editing tools here in just a few minutes once we convert this into a T-spline from the quad mesh. But just kind of be aware of that. So if you're going to do any kind of editing or smoothing, you're going to want to use the tools inside of Recap Photo to kind of make those smooths or, or adjustments there. Because once we get over here, these tools look for triangular meshes and not uh, the quad meshes. And you can see here, almost any tool that I use there, that one would let me delete faces. But if I went to something like separate, it doesn't see the faces because it's looking for triangular objects and not the square bodies.